I wanted to talk to you about how important our language is, growing up with it and how we can create changes and, and make our language bring it to a stronger place to help our people. When I first came back home, 1972, I was on campus and I was suggesting that my language be taught. Hmm. And I was really excited because it was being, going to be taught. The first day I was so excited. I was imagining a whole classroom full of people wanting to learn my language. Yeah. Along, along, you came, and I was so excited. I had to find out who you were. And I came to your office, mm -hmm. and I asked you, where did you learn the language? My first teacher was my grandfather, and uh, I realized he spoke Klinkit. He's the only one in our family that really spoke. I said, Grandpa, teach me Klinkit. He pointed on the table. He, we had salt and pepper there. Yeah. He pointed at the salt. He says, eight. And I tried to say that, and I couldn't, and he just <laughs> laughed at me. And so as I started to learn the language, it just opened up things inside. I had different ways of thinking. I had different ways of of even knowing what things were when I saw a raven out there and I could say yay and I could call that thing what our people have called it for over 10,000 years I just realized there was something special there and someone says when we know the names of all these things that's what makes us think it the cheese for all the work you did to get this started and to keep it going you're very welcome yeah, the wife. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>